Hi everyone, we are just here to share with you a new pooling party controller update that we did um, that's been pretty requested, I guess, for these new 24 Model 3 performance, uh, which they overheat so quickly. So now we've given you the ability, if you have a pooling party controller, you can um, plug it into your laptop and you can pick what power you want to have up to what speed. And then there's an, another power setting you can adjust at a different speed. So you can profile, um, for example, if you had a racetrack and you know that the, the straightaway ends around 120 miles an hour, well, from 110 to 120, you can start tapering off the power because that's not really gaining you any lap time. So as you can see here, we have the MPP Party Manager open and we've set our low power mode to 200 kilowatts, our high power mode to 100 kilowatts, and the low speed point to 60 kilometers an hour and the high speed point to 80. So this means the car will have 200 kilowatts of power up to 60 and then it will start tapering down to 100 kilowatts at 80 kilometers an hour. These are obviously really low numbers, but it's just to demonstrate to you on the road here how it works. But there's another feature. We have push to pass now. So if you push this left scroll wheel, you'll get this push to pass power value. Um, so the power will ramp up for that duration that's set in the app. So when we press this button, we'll get 320 kilowatts of power for 15 seconds. So this is kind of like a neat tool if you're lapping and you're faster than a guy ahead of you, but you just need a bit of power on the straightaway to get by him. Or for example, you feel really comfortable, you've gotten up to speed at your 220 kilowatts or so, and now you want to do a really good lap. So you just press the push to pass button on every straightaway and you'll be able to just do a full lap like that, but otherwise default back to a really consistent, easy to manage power setting. So if you're in the zone and you don't want to come off the track and change those settings, exactly. you can just use push to pass to get that power. Yeah, so for people that like take some time to get into the rhythm, you can build up to your rhythm and then say, okay, I'm feeling really good. I want to go for it. And then you can push the push to pass button. Maybe you've got the duration set to one minute in the app. Oh, yeah. You only need to press it for one time in the lap, for example. Uh, or you can just keep pressing it. You just keep pressing it. It won't turn it off. It doesn't turn off when you just press it nope. again, right? You just restart the timer. Exactly. So you can just mash it the whole lap. You, if you want to. That's kind of defeats the purpose of it, but yep. And we've also changed the activation mode now of the CPC and the party box. So if you push and hold on the left scroll wheel for three seconds, it will turn the CPC on and the same thing to turn it off. And the right scroll wheel, same thing, to turn the party box on and off. So this is really good on the new vehicles that don't have um, all the same menu settings. Yeah, that's a nice like, quality of life thing. Yeah, you're basically a race car driver now with all the steering wheel controls. <laughs> Step one. All right, guys, that's a quick little update for you. And uh, let us know how you enjoy it and how you use it, if at all.